What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to talk about the AWS well-architected framework. Companies that put their services and their resources on the cloud have to make a lot of decisions about which resources to use, how to connect them, and how to make sure that their eventual customers or end users are getting high quality with little to no downtime. And so AWS obviously has put a lot of work into streamlining these decisions and they are fall under the umbrella of the AWS well-architected framework. So let's jump into it. The AWS ecosystem is really huge. With a lot of options, a lot of things that at first glance might seem redundant, but if you look a little bit deeper, you'll see that they have complementary features. There's key differences and they can both be used together for an even greater effect. In this series of videos, I'm mainly going to be talking about only the thing on the left. So this well ar architected framework, which in involves five pillars. And then in later videos, I will be talking about hosting on AWS as well as fault tolerance and high availability. The AWS well architected framework helps customers to assess and improve their architecture. Following this framework sheds light on how design decisions affect applications. All right, so there's, as you mentioned, there's five pillars of well-architected framework. The first one is security. The second is reliability. Then performance efficiency, cost optimization, and operational excellence. I will break down each of these five pillars in uh, the subsequent five videos. So stick around and enjoy.